This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. Welcome back to News 46. The Board of County Commissioners discussed the 4-H Club at their meeting on Tuesday. The one issue that right today that I got kind of a emotion about is um, the one project that they have here is called shooting sports. I think that the shooting sports category is quite important right now with our youngsters. I, you should all come out and see what they're doing and what they are, the future of it is. It's an important issue right now. I think it's important to have this in our, for our youngsters in the 4-H club along with all the other projects that we have. It's a wonderful project a club and I want to invite all of you please come and pick one, come and visit us, come and visit the shooting sports. Right now today it seems to be the most important issue across the country. There are block dancing, arts and crafts, game and board game nights and several field trips that are available for these youngsters. These experiences teach them how to win and lose in such game activities. There are several churches that you know that have night youth programs. This is excellent for their spiritual needs, but there needs to be other programs that be available for social needs. The 4-H club is not only for entertainment, it leads to maturity and prepares youngsters to cope with adulthood. The 4-H offers not only as other spokesmen have um, mentioned, care and custody of animals, what it teaches is goals, responsibility, speaking, how to behave in public, how to hold down a job. So I beg you, please continue to fund this program. It helps our children grow into adults and leaders in this community. The kids learn so many responsibilities on running business and organization and preparedness and they take care of it's everything from animals to games, dancing, cooking, sewing. Um, the extension service itself provides so many opportunities for people who don't know how to can, how to preserve. By the way, there's not many things that happen anywhere that a child only has to pay a dollar a year for their insurance to be a part of an organization. Just so you're aware and so you're encouraged and there is hope, I have had more than two conversations with the Chancellor in the last month. I've had communications with Eric. Killian is was slipping my mind. Thank you very much. And I'm encouraged by the conversations I've had both with the Chancellor and with Eric. So I'm excited about seeing what changes are going to come about, but I am not yet willing to ask my colleagues to change their mind until I, I want to see the proof. And Terminal 1 at Los Angeles' LAX airport was closed because of a bomb threat today. Many people on social media were tweeting out updates from the inside of the terminal where they were told to move back. The nonspecific threat was made just before 2 p.m., leading to the evacuation of Terminal 1, airport police said. This afternoon, we got an update stating that Terminal 1 has been reopened and the threat was deemed not relevant by the FBI. The world's most wanted drug lord was captured for a third time in a daring raid on Friday by Mexican Marines, six months after he tunneled out of a maximum security prison in a made-for-Hollywood escape that deeply embarrassed the government and strained ties with the United States. Few had thought Joaquin Guzman Loera or El Chapo would be taken alive, and few now believe Mexico will want to try to hold him a third time in Mexican prisons. He escaped from two maximum security facilities in 2001 and in 2015. The U.S. has sought his extradition, though Mexico in the past has said he would serve sentences there first. And a fundraiser will be held tomorrow at Tacos El Chero. We caught up with Peggy Sanders to find out more. Paws um, is Pets Are wear Worth Saving, mm -hmm. and we're a group who raises money to cover vet bills for emergency cases. Uh, we plan to help out with spay and neuter programs 
and identification to get pets back to people. Just fill in where we can. You're having a fundraiser, right? Yes, we are. We're having a big fundraiser this weekend. It will be Saturday and Sunday from 9 to 3 at Taco El Charo, which is at 251 Frontage Road. And that's right there across from Walmart, right? Yes, it is. So how can people uh, come down and get involved and uh, take part in this fundraiser? Well, we have lots of things to buy. You can also order calendars. We had a online competition and all the pets in the calendars are animals that live here in Pahrum. Wow. We, How much are the calendars? The calendars are $6, so we tried to keep it where most people could afford. Uh, we also are going to be taking orders for embroidered um, collars so that you can have your pet's name and phone number on the collar so that if your pet gets lost, we can get it back to you. Those are really handy. Yes, they are. And the calendar's just in time for the new year. Yes, they are. All right, so um, they can come down there from 9 to 3. Is there anything that you could take as far as donations? Uh, for? We, will, we are always happy to take donations. We help um, pretty much with everything that has to do with emergencies. We're, um, this week we made sure a puppy that some we were looking at somebody was looking at putting down made it into the vet got treatment and it's going to be fine we've also um, donated and raised money to for dogs who were injured during fires hit by cars special emergencies where the animal needs to be seen but the people just can't afford it so come down to taco del Chero saturday and sunday yes. get involved do you have contact information or a website I do. We have a website. It's www.pahrumpaws.org. You guys on Facebook? Yes, we are. Pahrump Paws, P-A-W-S. Jan Lindsay from the Retired and Senior Volunteer Program talks about respite care. We have a lot of people in town who are taking care of, looking after husbands or wives, mothers or fathers. And we have a lot of clients in town that have dementia in the family. And I know the caregivers are tired and need a break, and we will provide the break. So if you want some respite, time away with someone good to stay with your family member, please call me at 751-5282. Let's join Ron Chase with Nevada Public Auction. Hey, well, all right, sir, here this clear. segment is sponsored by Nevada Public Auction. An amazing auction this Saturday at 10 a.m. Again, the warehouse is packed from end to end. Lots of uh, furniture. You see some behind me. Also a full bedroom set here. Three different couches, table and chairs, the china cabinets, and a lot of small furniture too. Art, lamps, things like that. And jewelry? There's some costume jewelry in there, a little bit of civil jewelry, and there's also a lot of um, gift type items too. Uh, we've got the contents of a smoke shop that we're trying to filter in. So like t-shirts and hats and scarves and socks and sunglasses and lighters and just all kinds of different stuff. All brand new though. So if you miss preview on Friday, you can come early on Saturday? Absolutely. Saturday we open our doors at 9 a.m. Auction starts at 10, so that first hour, get a good seat, get something to eat, take a preview, because again, I mean, there's at least 400 lots in here. We're packed from wall to wall. And you can see some of these items online? Absolutely. We try to picture some of the stuff online. We can't get all of it usually in time. But again, auctionnv.com is the website. You'll see some of the pictures on there. If you have any questions, you can call us here at 751-4867. And where are you guys at? We're at 800 Market Street. It's one street past the hospital, right off Highway 372. And you have a website, right? We do. Again, the website address is auctionnv.com. Come, and if you want to consign anything, just give us a call. Uh, charity work, give us a call. We'll be happy to help out with the community. When we return, we're going to talk about what's going on with the stock market. 